In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. Then they departed from there and passed through Galilee, and he did not want any one to know it. For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And after he is killed, he will rise the third day. But they did not understand this saying, and were afraid to ask. Then he came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What was it you were disputing among yourselves on the road? But they kept silent. For on the road they had disputed among themselves who would be the greatest. And he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all, and servant of all. Then he took a little child, and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one of these little children in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. In this Gospel reading today from St. Mark, we have two little sections. The first part was the second prophecy of Jesus' Passion. And then in the second, the way of discipleship. The way that we all should be as true disciples of Jesus Christ. An important message for us all to learn and understand. Of course, the prophecy of Jesus' passion. We have just experienced recently with Easter, the resurrection of Christ. He prophesied that what was going to happen. And we know it did. And we also know that even though he did tell them a while before it happened, a lot of them forgot it and didn't under understand. And they were afraid to ask Jesus to clarify what he was saying. But they didn't. Then in the second part of this reading from St. Mark, as they were walking along, the apostles were disputing among themselves who would be the greatest. He sat down with the twelve and said to them, If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. And there was a little child there, and he put them in the midst of them. And he put his arms around him and said to them, Whoever receives one of these little children in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. Receiving Jesus Christ, accepting Jesus Christ. We are not accepting him, but God the Father. And that's the important thing. The Son of God is God. When we accept Jesus into our lives, we accept God 
into our lives. God the Father, remember that. During this Paschal time, which we are still in, it's good to have reminders about this. Reminders about the prophecy Jesus made to them, to the disciples. A refresher, I guess you could say. And then, as I said in the second part of this reading, it is the way that disciples of the Lord should act. How they should behave. To be servants of all, to love all, to love all the children of the world, whether they are grown up or not, they are still God's children. And if we love the children of the world, we love God, we love Jesus Christ, and of course, we love God because we love Jesus Christ. As Jesus said, He who receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. God the Father sent Jesus Christ to save us. Don't ever forget that. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.